Okay guys, welcome to the channel once again. We have here an ASA Chromebook C720. Yeah, all right. Well, I want to insert a window, want to put a window on it. All right. Okay, and this ASA is one of the ASA that accepts uh, all the drivers. You can get all the drivers. Even on Snappy drivers, you can get them. Okay, I've installed up to um, 10 pieces of it and it's working very, very well. I'm going to show you this video is going to be on how to install it why you don't use the bios chip all right i'm still going to show you how to use the bios chip on doing that also uh that will be my next video all right we are about to lose out and uh, we'll check the protection rights and pull it out we have it here this is the protection right okay screw we have to remove it Okay, it looks very strong. It looks warm. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, I have removed it. Okay, I have just pulled it off. It was very strong, but I've used a rifle screw to take it off. Okay, let's continue. All right, the next step we have to do now is to get to the developer mode for us to able to put our password create a root password okay so escape refresh power button okay all right let's see what it is show okay ctrl d then you press enter okay. it will up the verification mode ctrl d to continue Okay, let's see if it's disabled. Okay, we are into the developer mode. All right, so you have to wait for a few minutes for it to load to the developer mode. After that, then the next step is for us to put our email and our password. We get to the desktop, we create the password. After creating the password, then we go to Mr. Chromebox to copy out our code. After copying out our code, we open our terminal all right we're using a um, control alt t to open the terminal then after we open that we type in shell after typing shell then we put in the code put in code then we load okay that's it then we do what is necessary by installing the new firmware after installing the new firmware then we we restart the system after that it will load then we Put in our flash for windows and that's it okay ctrl d all right let's start fully okay uh, what we said and uh, let's practicalize it all right we are going to start let's go okay yeah we have to connect to the internet uh it's very necessary to connect to the internet without the internet this can't work and you must have a good internet for this all right, let it do is updating. Then to get to all right, we have put our email. Okay, then you put your email. Put a very valid email. All right. Then after that, it will require for your password. You put your password. It's a minute. It gets there. Um, Asa Chromebook is um, this particular Asa Chromebook. There's one thing I like it is it has mostly all the drivers, all right, the video drivers, the sound drivers, the mouse drivers are all available. Okay, I have them for this particular system. Okay, I know most of the videos, uh, most of the Chromebooks that I've done, most of them doesn't have. All the drivers available okay um so this one is it's very preferable i prefer this combo why because you can also update the ssd so ctrl d okay ctrl d okay 
all right what happened was that it refused to pass that place after putting the password so i have to restart the chromebook again so we are about now in the other stage where we have to create our password control alter front or forward key that's what we are going to use and um, as you can see we have done it we type in roots and uh, chromos os the set dev password then admin 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 okay those are the things we type there all right your admin remember your admin is not going to show it's not going to show that yes you are typing and you admin i mean your password people have been asking me that it's not showing when they are typing it will not show but it gets recognized so make sure you type it very well before you make a mistake okay all right the next step is to go to mr chromebox site all right um when you go there you go to firmware it uh, script okay let me just type my shell control authority which i used to type to get to that terminal before typing the shell okay then boy again we need to copy out the code if you have seen we have copied out the code we paste it then it's running just wait for it for a while it will run then gets to where we have to put our password this is where you have to put our password the admin password you created okay so it's loading so just wait for a while this is where you must have a good internet without having a good internet it will not run faster so you must have a good internet to make sure this process is very okay you do it very fast okay so press 2 to install the new firmware yes we accept yes we accept which is why then we have to create a backup all right backup we have to get a flash the flash must not be up to um um much size maybe two gig also is okay for the backup then press y it has recognized ets1 okay that's the load as fast as that um so we wait for a new family to download and upload okay so that's what it's doing to take up to like 30 seconds or so um it depends on your internet depends on your internet as i said your network determines how fast it will get to okay so almost done all right the new firmware has installed so we have to press and enter then we press arrow to restart the system okay so wait for a while it will boot okay it's trying to check the bios is trying to load up all right that's so we are going to use our flash this flash is for the windows okay control refresh button power okay choose our flash drive then we choose windows light okay this other process is is kind of understood to many people doesn't take time to load um then we have to delete all the ssd storage drive and when it gets to that point okay still setting up let me just assume um if you have a good internet you have a a good internet okay and your details your valid email um it will not take you up to up to an hour you'll be done doing this okay so we have to delete all the storage drive this contains the chrome os software so we have to delete them after deleting the formatting everything then we we load the windows on it okay 
so after that then we have to see how to put in the drivers okay you can see it's loading i just have to cut the video from there i don't believe in doing long videos okay it's a uh, kind of waste of time except maybe it's a live video okay doing a section whereby you are showing complete live video of maybe doing a uh, repairing a board or maybe a section where you have the we are doing this kind of chrome box we are doing a very good live session okay um so that's when i can take your time okay but now i can't do that i think this is the process where you just have to know the next the steps to take and what to do when you are about to put in your windows on a chrome or chromebook asa or any chromebook at all from my previous videos okay we are about the place where we have to put our name then if you want to create the password it's up to you to do that then we accept okay we are almost done here uh please if this video is helpful do it to subscribe like and share it to your friends to your loved ones to those that will need it please so now we have an hard drive that is connected to the system okay so we want to show you how to install the drivers okay um if you have been hearing about drivers snappy drivers uh if you have it this is what you use to install the drivers it has or it contains all the necessary um, drivers you need okay this doesn't work in all the chromebook but in this asa it works on the sound on the um, on the internet uh, sorry the on the intel graphics card it works um now for the mouse you have to i'll still drop in the mouse drivers on my link the one i've been using randomly that i use on um hp it works on this also so i'm going to show you the right for one to use after installing the sound driver okay so you can install the intel graphics you can install the the speaker when you are using these snappy drivers okay it works very well it works perfectly and the, when you install the windows it has a bluetooth already and other necessary drivers are there okay so this chromebook is is a good one for you to get if you want to get a chromebook because it's very compatible with windows because all the necessary drivers are there and one thing i like about this chromebook is that you can ins um, upgrade the ssd from this 16 gig ram to either 1 to 8 rom 64 gig rom any size you are looking for as far as is m2 ssd it can go all right please as i said do well to follow me up for more videos like this and uh, subscribe to my channel you can see the speaker is working so let's get the drivers for the mouse um okay so let's have copied out the file that is necessary all right i'm going to drop these files on my link okay mm, yeah yeah, you can go on online on Snappy Drivers to download their latest um, driver stock pack. It will give you what you want. Alright, it's working. Please have a nice day. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.